on the next episode of Mrs. Pigman Down on the Farm. Yeah! Hi friends, it's Mrs. Pigman with the next video. Make another video to let you know that I love you and I miss you. And I thought I would bring another special friend. This is Buck. This is Buck the horse. Can you say hi, bud? And next to him is Z the pony. You might be able to tell on the side if he turns. He has what looks like a white Z on the outside of his neck. So that's how he got the name Z. So Buck is an Arabian quarter mix. So even people and animals can be fractions. He's half Arabian horse and half quarter horse. And Buck here is a bit of a mess. I've been brushing him with his brush. See all that hair? He's losing his winter hair. So all that hair is coming off. Yeah. And he's been rolling in the mud. So he's having fun. Right. Say hi to everybody. He's a good boy. What you got over here? Mr. Speakman brought out some sweet feed. They get this twice a day? Yes. Twice a, a day. Bit. And some hay. You can tell he likes that. He's very gentle. You want some too, Z? Oh, he doesn't want Z to have any. You gonna take it all? There, Z can get his on the ground. Buck is trained as a trail horse, so he likes to go for long rides in the woods. the chickens and the ducks and the rabbits in the morning, Mr. Speakman feeds the horses. He takes care of them. If I had a treat, he would love an apple right now. With the shopping situation, we didn't have any apples to bring him. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any apples, buddy. Josie's making that noise to get his attention. jealous that I was brushing buck. So horses are measured in hands. This way, Josie. Okay. Oh, daddy's in the barn with the hay, so they're leaving me. <laughs> buck is in his late 20s, so he's considered a senior horse. He's kind of an old guy. All right, so I'm standing here in the horse apples. Got to give you your reading and math challenge. The reading challenge is the word horse. That is the very first word we learn in Edmark. So what can you do with the word horse? Can you make sentences? I saw a horse. I would like to ride a horse. What can you do with a horse? Can you spell it? Magnet letters, scrabble tiles. What can you do with the word horse? And for your math challenge, I took an old bag an old shopping bag that I had because I save everything to reuse it and I wrote the numbers on it it's Monday so we would be working on touch points if we were at school so I want to go over the touch points to make sure all the moms and dads understand them too so we've got one one dot at the top two one two one, two. For three. Let's see if I can do this upside down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three dots in a row. Four is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. 
One, two, three, four, five. Go with the flow of the five. One, two, three, four, five. Three in a row with an eye and a belly button. Now when we get to six, we start the double touches. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you have those tokens, you stack them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now on to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Start in the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three in a row with an I. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two arms and two legs like a snowman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And our last number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four in a row with an I. And those are the touch points. And those are the order that you want to practice them in. You have kids practice placing them and start working on problems and then hopefully they'll get to a point where they don't need to draw them they can do it with their finger so when you start working on problems if you had the problem three plus two you do one two three four five Three plus two. One, two, three, four, five. I have a couple friends that can work on problems with those two. And if that's something you're working on, you had some of those in your blizzard bag. All right, so that's touch points. So on this fine Monday, practice those touch points at home. All right, bye everybody.